Hey, this is Movie Edge, and welcome to another episode of Blu-ray DVD Collections. And this Blu-ray DVD collection, which I think I only have one DVD in it, and that's just an extra, uh, is going to be my Steven Spielberg collection. So, some of these you might have seen in the A through Z videos, like, uh, there's a couple of box sets here that I did show in the A through Z videos. And uh, there was one I showed in the animation collection. That I did two animation collection videos. Um, you've seen it in that. But um, basically these are all his theatrical movies. And uh, one made for TV movie that he did. Um, according to IMDb... There is two more made-for-TV movies that he directed. One was called um, Something Evil. It's the title of it. It was 1972. And then the other one was called uh, Savage. Savages or Savage? I, I, I think it was Savage. And that was from 1973. Those two movies are directed by him. But I have never seen them on DVD or Blu-ray. So if anyone out there knows about this, if, if they are available on um, DVD, because I don't see no Blu-ray releases of them at all, comment question below, or comment below, and say, hey, yada, 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 you could get them here, and whatever. Because I would really like to see those two um, early uh, directing films from... Steven Spielberg. But I'm going to start off this collection with technically his very first uh, movie that he directed. Now he directed TV shows. He directed episodes of TV shows before this and from like 1959 to like 1958 he did shorts for like colleges and you know short features and stuff like that. He did do that stuff, which I only seen one, and that was a blame, which he named his uh, production company after. The rest of them I ain't never seen before. I don't even know where to get that if it's out yet, or you can find it somewhere. I don't know. It might be on that Steven Spielberg collection, the Blu-ray collection. I don't know. But his very first movie, and he enhanced this. For widescreen, took the regular, he took the original 35 millimeter um, original elements and uh, re fully restored them to high def and digital remastering and everything. And that is dual. And this is supposed to be a really good movie. I haven't seen it yet. I got questions. Did you see that movie? Because when I was under the D's for my A through Z video. Somebody asked me about this. Yes, I have it, but no, I have not seen it yet. Um, this was a made-for-TV movie, so it wasn't in widescreen originally. Steven Spielberg went back and restored and remastered this thing in widescreen. It was an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, it's, they rated it PG. And uh, special bonus content on this. There's a lot of bonus content on there. You can check that out. And, um, yeah, it's when Universal was actually releasing all the Steven Spielberg stuff one right after another. So, Steven Spielberg, Duel, very first movie he had directed. Second movie he directed was a theatrical release, and it was called Sugarland Express. Now, I didn't see this whole movie. I seen, like, half of it. It was on cable once, so it's like I started right in the middle of it. It is okay movie. I mean, it's not anything special. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Who's, well, it's got the star Goldie Hawn in it, but uh, yeah. Um, story by Steven Spielberg, directed by Steven Spielberg. It's a PG rated movie. It was 150 minutes. You know, not many people talk about this, um, but. You know, one day I have to check out the rest of it. So that's Sugarland Express. 
Sugar Land Express. And of course his third movie, very big, very popular film, and that is Jaws. Yes, this is an awesome movie. And uh, this was on um, Digibook for the 100th anniversary Universal. Never got my hands on it. So I guess this this would have to do. Um, this one is the best one, actually. I wish he would have directed them all. It would have made a difference, but he did not. Uh, what's in here? There's a bunch of special features on this disc, in case you're wondering. There you go. And um, it's got the DVD Blu-ray. I think there's an anniversary edition that came out after this one that might have more stuff on it, but I don't know. And that is Jaws. I haven't seen that movie in years. Another movie, every time it's on TV, every time it's on cable, whatever, I have to watch it. And it is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And I was going to originally get this on 4K, but I didn't have a 4K player at the time. So I'm like, ah, I'll just go with the Blu-ray. And uh, maybe I'll upgrade it to 4K. I don't know. This this copy was great. I mean, it's restored, remastered um, in 4K anyway. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, uh, Terry Garr is in this movie. Richard Dreyfuss. It's the only two good names in this movie. Music by John Williams. And, um... Yeah, so Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, I'd check that one out. Here's a movie that people, well, people either like it or hate it. I kind of liked it. It was a really big movie for him. And he was just starting out as a director. It's 1941. And... It's misleading on the covers and on the posters. You know, you think it's John Bellucci and Dan Aykroyd movie. It's not. They're barely in it. Um, and uh, who else is in this movie? John Candy. He's barely in it. Um, go through them. Ned Beatty. Uh, Christopher Lee. Tim Matheson. Tim Matheson's more of a star of this movie than anything else. Warren Oates, uh, Robert Stack, Treat, Treat Williams. Um, and there's a lot of other stars in this movie. But, yeah, it's kind of misleading saying it's a John Bellucci uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd movie because it's not. They're in it barely. Um, I would actually recommend going with the Extended version of this. It's 2 hours and 26 minutes. It's got more scenes. And the original is 2 hours. So I'd go with the extended version if you ever pick this up. If you haven't seen it already. Um, story by Robert Zemeckis. It's the first, maybe the first time they worked together. Um, produced by... No. Just, just story by Robert Zemeckis. So... There you go, 1941. Great movie. Well, it's a great comedy, in my opinion. You might have your own. This, Indiana Jones and the, the Complete Adventures. Now, I got the, I, mean, I got this um, UK version. I didn't order the UK version, but the seller was misleading on Amazon, and it looked like the US version. But... Once I looked at the slip and the case, I'm like, you know what? I'll just take this one. And I, I didn't really complain. But uh, it's got all the discs in a, you know, the flipper in a little uh, trays. And they go up and down and stuff like that. They're all region. It really does not matter. It's got all the films plus a bonus disc um, right there. And, um, yeah, it, the other version would have been nice to have, 
but it pulls in and out. It's got one of those um, digibook type looks to it where you stick the disc in and out. And eventually it might scratch the Blu-ray. So this I kept because same is actually cheaper. It's actually cheaper. And um, yeah, it's region free. You could get this anywhere and play it anywhere. Uh, seven hours of special features on here. So yeah. And um, I'm, I really want this. If this comes out in 4K, this whole set, I want it. I want this whole set on 4K. Um, even the crappy one. But who knows. I mean, Steven Spielberg is working right now. Directing. Uh, I don't know if he's directing it right now or if it's whatever. But he's directing a new Indiana Jones movie. How's that going to be? But uh, if it's as crappy as the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is, <sighs> anyway, next, one of his biggest blackbusters, and that is uh, E.T. This is the regular version. This is not the special edition, but it was on sale on Amazon one day for a really dirt cheap price. They could pay like $7.99 for this, it's an anniversary edition, Blu-ray, DVD, digital combo pack. And um, all new bonus features, uh, plus deleted scenes, I look back, an evolution, blah, 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 and, and that. So I'll show you that stuff, right? Oh, my fingers are in the way. There you go with that. That's E.T. And uh, I haven't seen this one in years either. And I was looking for a, a copy of E.T., that I don't think this was was this restored remastered in 4K. I know it's high re, high uh, resolution, 35 millimeter print film elements, but I don't know if this was 4K. Mm. The inside, well, you got some artwork inside, but uh, yeah. Um, sticking with this, I want to upgrade to 4K. But I don't know if it's necessary because I don't watch this movie that much. I, in my whole lifetime, I probably only watched this like two or three times. And most of that was on VHS. So, I mean, this one I did watch, but, you know, I made sure it wasn't the edited version. Now, this next movie is uh, from 1983. He didn't direct this movie. He was one of the directors in this movie. Called uh, The segment that he directed was called Kick the Can, I think. And it is uh, Twilight Zone, the movie. Now, there was a point where this movie went out of print for absolutely no reason. And then it went back into print. It's from, it's from Warner Brothers. It's because, I guess, they... Somebody took him to court or something, um, and there was two people that died in this movie, uh, in a crane, in a helicopter crash. I forgot who they were. They were actually pretty. They were related to someone that was famous. I forgot the story. If you know the story, list it below. But um, yeah, uh, I seen this movie like once. I have to revisit it. But this was a pain in the ass to find. Um, but when I seen... Because I could not find a regular copy of this. Not even in Canada. So when I seen this was going to be re-released, I grabbed it. Twilight Zone the movie. Even though he directs one part of it. Still good. Next, I got a Digibook here. This is going to end up in my Digibook collection too. So you're going to see this twice. And this is The Color Purple. This was um, actually Whoopi Goldberg's first movie. Don't know what she did before this. Maybe just comedy, stand-up comedy and stuff like that. But she was excellent in this movie. Um, trying to find a... I do have... I still have the backing. I'm trying to find out. So a bunch of special features on this. Uh, Roger Ebert gave it four stars. That's not what I'm looking for. 
This movie is 153 minutes. It is long, and but it is damn good. And um, produced by Steven Spielberg, Kathleen Kennedy, Frank Marshall, his usual people, and Quincy Jones. Yeah, that man, that man is awesome. Um, I mean, the the story in this movie is good. The direction that he went in was great. But, but it is really depressing. Seriously depressing. If you just take a day to, I don't know, want to watch a, a very serious film, check out The Color Purple. There is nothing humorous in this movie at all. And uh, Whoopi Goldberg's life in this movie, from the time they showed her as a kid to the time she grew old, and it was a, her life was just a living hell. This movie is just depressing, but so good. I highly recommend you pick up the the um, the digi book because there's a lot of info in the digi book and stuff that you know it talks about the. The actors and stuff like that, but yeah, pick this up. Don't know if this is going to be coming out on 4K, but if it does, I don't know if it's worth picking up. Another one, it's a digi book that this movie, um, first time for Christian Bale to be in a movie. That's right, introducing Christian Bale in this movie, Empire of the Sun. This is a great movie. First time I seen this movie, blew me away. I kept on waiting and waiting for the price to go down. Would not go down on the Amorite version or on the Digibook. Finally, it went down. I grabbed it. Um, you have... Uh, who else is in there? John Malkovich um, does a great job in this movie. There is a really small part by um, Ben Stiller. He's, he's, in, a, he's in the camp of captured soldiers and he's in there you see him but he barely has like three lines maybe uh but yeah it's it's a great film highly recommend this and um highly recommend to get it on um digibook because it has a lot of information i'm looking for the backing it has a lot of information that is just Superb. Uh, is a digital transfer remaster of, of 1080p for the time. It was high def. Uh, behind the scene documentary. That's on disc one. Disc two has a documentary. A look back at uh, Warner Bros. Impact on the nation during wartime. Directed or narrated by Steven Spielberg. There you go. Another Steven Spielberg thing that he didn't direct, but he was in. Uh, it's 153 minutes, so it's kind of a long film too. Not, not as depressing as uh, the color purple. I mean, eh. this movie is great. I highly recommend Empire of the Sun. Um, a lot of people don't even know his earlier works, Steven Spielberg's early, you know, films. But if you get to know him. You know, you're going to be presently surprised at his style at the time. Now, this next one, I only seen once on cable, but I had to have it for a collection. And when Universal released this and all the rest of the Steven Spielberg movies that they that they owned, I had to get it. I think I got this at Walmart, dirt cheap, always. You have a good cast on there. Holly, Holly Hunter, Richard Dreyfuss, and John Goodman. It's um, two hours and three minutes. And, um, yeah, there's, I don't see anyone else in this cast that I recognize. John Williams, of course, did the music, as always. But, uh, yeah, this movie, if you haven't seen Always, it's, it's a really good movie. And, in my opinion, it's like an amazing, st if, if you know Steven Spielberg's series, Amazing Stories, kind of falls into that category kind of 
But it's, it's, it's a good movie. Next one. Steven Spielberg got to work with um, Dustin Hoffman, Robin Williams, Julia Roberts, Bob Hoskins. Boom. Hook. This movie, the first time I seen it, it blew me away. And, um, yeah, it is great. This one, I kind of sort of want to get the uh, 4K of. And, um, yeah. Because this was in the house fire. So, it still smells like like basic smoke and stuff like that. But the inside's fine. Um, really good surprise. Really fresh. Something different that he did. Uh, this is all region, in case you're wondering, but it's all over the world. Um, Maggie Smith is also in this. Um, so, yeah. Hook. Rest in peace to Robin Williams and Bob Hodgkins. Good movie. Great kids movie. Okay, this one... It's going to take it out of order, because just like the Indiana Jones one... That I showed. It's going to take them out of the order. But whatever. Uh, this is the uh, 25th anniversary collection. Of Jurassic Park. Now. Not only do they have Jurassic Park on here. They have. Well they have Jurassic Park. Which he directed. And Jurassic. Jurassic World. Which he directed. Jurassic Park. Three, the executive produced, and of course Jurassic World, and the second Jurassic World, which I have, uh, he executive produced both of those, and he's going to probably executive produce the next one as well. So yeah, these, um, the two movies that he direct that he directed, I wish he would have directed them all. Ooh, it smells. Uh, I don't know why I sniff things. Um, this came out in 2018. It was on Amazon Dirt Cheap, so I grabbed it. And then they came out with a, um, with the five disc collection. Wait, how many is in this? Is this DVD and Blu-ray? Oh, it's, uh, this is not, this is not Blu-ray. This is actually HD. This is actually, um, Ultra HD 4K. So they have the 4Ks in here and the Blu-rays. So that was a good deal. They have them both. Um, what was I trying to figure out here? One, two, three. Yeah, there's only four movies in this one, plus a bonus disc. Um, so, see, this is what I was talking about, where you have the slip-in, the slip-out out discs. I don't really like that. I don't care for it. But since Blu-rays... Blu-rays uh, don't scratch, but HD DVDs, do they, uh, not HD DVDs, 4K Blu-rays, do they scratch easily? I don't know. Tell me. Are they the same as Blu-rays? Because i never seen anyone answer that question, or ask that question. But this is the same thing the Indiana Jones one was supposed to look like, but I got the import instead with the plastic case. So, whatever. This was a good deal? Yes. Next, a movie that I got at um, Second and Charles, used, Chandler's List. When I opened this up, I didn't realize there was a sticker on it saying only had the Blu-ray, which wouldn't have bothered me, but all the special features were on the DVD. So, I kept the slip, and... I kept the Blu-ray discs just for a backup, and I got the um, I got the UK one. It's, it plays all region anyway, so you got Schindler's List DVD uh, with the bonus. It's the bonus disc. Don't know why they didn't put it on Blu-ray as a bonus disc, but uh, yeah. And then you got Schindler's um, Schindler's List the movie on the Blu-ray. So, yeah. And it was pretty much cheap. Really dirt cheap. So, yeah, winner of seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Cinematography, 
and Best Music Original Score. Yeah, this movie, if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. This is Schindler's List. This is a good movie. Now, that being said, the cast, who's in it? Uh, Liam Neeson did an excellent job in this movie. Um, ben Kingsley, um, awesome in this movie. Uh, Ralph Fiennes, he did an awesome job. And the rest of the people I don't recognize. John Williams did the musical score on this. Um, yeah, it is... How long is this movie? I know it's really long. Um, yeah, can't find it. I know it's three hours and something. But uh, if I can find it. Okay, three hours and 15 minutes. The little ass print over here. They couldn't put it in one of these boxes. Three hours and 15 minutes. But the first time I actually watched this movie, the three hours and fifteen minutes, like that, you're looking, you're looking at going, it's over already. That's how good this movie is. You get so engrossed in it. He shot it in black and white up until the point where you see this girl in the pink dress. She's very um, important to the movie, and the storylines. You have to pay attention to that. But that's the only colored part in the whole movie. Until uh, the end of the movie. Where you see the actual um, the actual Jews that go to his... Um, uh, that go to Oscar Schindler's um, grave site and put stones on it and stuff to show respect. Uh, Steven Spielberg direct, um, filmed all that. And it is a really touching ending to the movie. Um, I don't recommend this for kids. But if you're a teenager and you want your teenager to learn about history, it's good. So, yeah, I recommend, I, I recommend it if you're like a 13, 14 year old and you're, you know, you're working your way. Or wait until they're in high school. Great movie. There is nudity in it, a lot of it, because of the concentration camps, the way the showers were. Is there's a lot of nudity in it, and um, violence. Yes, there's a lot of violence in it, but it has to be done in this movie. It, it, there's no other way to sugarcoat that. Um, yeah, so well done, uh, Steven Spielberg. Talk too much on that. This movie, this movie itself. This next one. Amistad. This one blew me away as well. It's 155 minutes uh, from 1997. And this is where, you know, Steven Spielberg did all his, um, he just did a lineup of um, historical movies. And uh, this was, this was one of them. This is a great film. It's um, based on a true story. And, um, the uh, cast alone, you have Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins. I can't pronounce his name, but he was a, he, he was a, a model turned actor. And he was in other movies, too. So I think... I think he was in one of... I think he was in Black Panther? No, either Black Panther or one of the Thor movies. I don't remember. Um, but I think he's in one of the Marvel movies. Um, and then Matthew McConaughey did a wonderful job in this movie as the lawyer. Um, and just, it, the cast, the story, everything is just great. And it's a part of history where it makes you sick. Sick to your stomach. Because, yes, the white men, that European white men, they would go to Africa, steal these people. And take them on boats, do horrible things to them, malnourishment, uh, no water. Uh, you had boats where you had like 200, 300 people sleeping in this one area. And if they died, they just threw them overboard. 
really sad story in history. And, um, yeah, this, this movie is just, if you're prepared, you have to prepare yourself to watch this. It's, there's like a lot of horrible scenes in this movie that just will shock you. Yeah. Uh, next movie, every, I think a lot of people seen this. It's been on cable. It's been on, um, free TV. It's been on everything. I mean, everything. Even unedited. It's been on free TV. And it is a Saving Private Ryan. This one's getting a 4K release. By the time this one airs, or this video drops, as like people like to say, the video drop, man. This is going to be on 4K. And uh, I don't know if I want to upgrade it, because it's a Sapphire series. Um, maybe eventually, when the price goes down, I'll... I'll start upgrading all the Steven Spielberg stuff to 4K, but uh, right now, I'm happy with this copy. I've seen it. It looks beautiful. Uh, it's restored, remastered, and uh, 1080p. Uh, the cast is great. There's a lot of cameos in this movie that Steven Spielberg uh, did, and, you know, it's a winner of five Academy Awards, including Best director Steven Spielberg um, and um, I mean the way this was shot it made you feel like you were actually in World War II the um, the beach scene it'll just blow you away how realistic that looks um, <laughs> there is a scene which I'm ashamed that I laugh at but Every time I see it, it just, uh, okay, Steven Spiel, or not Steven Spiel, uh, Tom Hanks, they're all getting off the boat, his platoon, his things, none of his men really survived, he got a handful of them out of, I don't know how many was on that boat, and every time he turned around, somebody got shot and killed around him, um, he only saved a certain amount of people. But there's this one scene where he is talking to this guy that was his phone operator at the time. And um, I, 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 I shit you not, you have to see it. But Tom Hanks starts talking to the guy and he looks over and the guy's dead. It's like he got shot in the head and he's dead. And I swear to God, Tom Hanks looks at the camera. I... You have to see it to believe it. I noticed it probably the first time I watched the movie. I'm like, why Why is he looking directly at the camera? Like, do you believe this? I mean, that's something, that's something Oliver Hardy did. And I didn't expect to see it in this movie. But I noticed it. Maybe someone else noticed it too. I don't know. But it made me laugh. And it wasn't supposed to. So, yeah, it's Saving Private Ryan. That's enough on that one. It's it's a great war movie. Um, a lot of cameos, but uh, if you want to know who the cameos are, you have to look that up. Another movie that's really depressing, but really good special effects in it. And it had uh, Haley Joel Osment. Haley Joel Osment. Osment. What, however you pronounce his last freaking name. Um, Jude Law, Francis O'Connor, uh, Brandon Gleason, William Hurt, and I think that's it. It is artificial intelligence, otherwise known as AI. This movie is a robot who wants to become a real boy, and yeah like Pinocchio, but it's really depressing in certain spots, man. He just wants a family. He just wants to be normal. It's really sad. Um, yeah. A lot of special features on this. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But, um, yeah. Depressing as shit. Next. This is a fun one. And it stars Tom Hanks. This was a uh, Paramount 20th Century Fox 
a DreamWorks collab, or no, no, just DreamWorks and Par DreamWorks and 20th Century Fox collab. Paramount just distributed this. It's Minority Report with Tom Cruise. Now, I don't like Tom Cruise. I said it before. I don't like his personal life, but his movies kick ass. And this movie was a kick ass movie about the future, about if we can pick, find crimes before they happen, you know, that would be great. But you can also, they also found a way to forge it, so they made him look guilty. Um, who else is in this movie? Tom Cruise, Colin Farrell, um, Max von Chateau, and I think that's Samantha Morton. Great freaking movie. Um, check it out if you haven't seen Minority Report. This one surprised the hell out of me. It's actually based on a true story, but the whole thing is not true. There's parts of this movie that they theatrically put in there for dramatic effect. Um, it's basically a comedy drama. Catch me if you can. The true story of um, uh, Frank W. Ab Abigail Jr. Um, he went on... He found... He taught himself how to forge checks and forge other things. And he became a fake airline pilot. A fake doctor. Um, he was going to be a fake lawyer until he passed... He actually passed the bar, and uh, that was surprising. He was a smart guy, um, but he was a—he was like the best forger ever. Now I don't know if he's retired or whatever, but he works for the uh, United States government trying to find forgers and stuff. So I don't know uh, if he still is there or he retired. But um, yeah, he was just hard to catch. Um, you got uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks, of course Tom Hanks, um, Christopher Walken, um, Martin Sheen, and Natalia Bay. And I think that's it. But uh, this movie is 141 minutes. And uh, it came out in 2002. This is also a DreamWorks picture. And uh, at the time, um, Paramount was distributing them. Um, highly recommend this movie. It's funny. Um, hmm. Well, apparently, it was a Blu-ray DVD combo at the time. I think I got this... I don't remember where I got this. Totally. Don't remember where I got this, but the DVD's gone. Maybe the DVD scratched and I threw it away, but that's that's fine. Uh, I have another extra case here to trade in for a single case. The next movie is a very underrated Tom Hanks movie and an underrated Steven Spielberg movie. Catherine Zeta Jones is in it. It is The Terminal. Simple story, but um, it's 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 great. It's just a, you got Stanley Tucci in it, Shia McBride. Um, uh, who else is in it? That's all I recognize. Music by John Williams again. Uh, it's an hour. No, it's 129 minutes. So. Two hours, nine minutes. Not bad. Um, to, uh, 2004 it came out. And um, nothing really that bad in this movie. Um, just maybe some little bit of language and a couple of drug references here and there. But uh, yeah, it's a man who left his country to do something for his father. And... Um, his father passed away, and he promised his father he would do something for him. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to tell you. Um, and 
lo and behold, his country is no longer his country anymore. They are under some kind of civil war, something like that, that their country name is gone and everything. And he can't get in to the United States because he doesn't have a country. So he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. So the only place he could go is the airport. They can't take him anywhere. They can't take him on uh, U.S. soil. They can't take him back to his country. He's stuck there. And uh, it's, it's just a great story. Uh, trying to see if this is based on a true story. I don't think so. Um, no, I don't think this is based on a true story. But it is a very... Excellent movie. It's a comedy drama again. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen the Terminal, underrated film. You have to check it out. And uh, yeah, well, this one's got the DVD Blu-ray in it. So yeah. There you go. Uh, I'm I'm getting down the pile. This one. Uh, it's actually a remake film that Steven Spielberg did, and it, it's pretty good. I think it was kind of short, but uh, Tom Cruise, again, in War of the Worlds, the old classic Steven Spielberg made into his own. And um, it's Tom Cruise, Dakota Fanning, don't recognize that name, Tim Robbins. And there's some other people in here as well. It's not listed down in the back. Um, it's 117 minutes. So it was like a two-hour movie. And, um, I mean, it's not something that's like, ooh, ah, movie. If it's on a cable, you'll probably stop and watch it. If it's, like, on TV, the same thing. Like a TBS channel or something like that. Um, but it's something that I have to be in the mood to actually see. Because I know the story already. And um, this is a great disc. This was also a, uh, I think, DreamWorks. No, this was a DreamWorks Paramount collab. So, yeah. And if you've seen it, it's just it's just mediocre. It's not that great of a film. Um, I'd rather have, like, I don't know. It'd been more longer. It's little bit more newer storyline or whatever but um, it's okay Munich is coming up right now this is based on a true story um, Academy Award nominees no five Academy Award nominees for including best picture best screenplay best director didn't win anything but uh, it's a damn good film. It's two hours and 44 minutes. Close to three hours. It's a pretty long film. You've got Daniel Craig in it. Um, Eric Bana. Jeffrey Rush. Um, it's about the... Um, uh, what was the... The Olympics. The 19... Does not list it on here. Does not list it on here, but uh, it's about oh, I guess it does. 1972 uh, Olympic Games where the athletes got murdered, and um, this team is trying to find out who did it and and stuff, and um, it's all out for them. But this is a great movie. Surpri surprisingly, when you watch this, you're like, damn, that actually happened. And it did. So, yeah, Steven Spielberg did a great job. And, um, yeah, it's well worth checking out. And there's a lot of violence in this movie. Nudity. A lot of language. So it's not, not, not a kid's movie. Far from it. This is a kid's movie. Uh, uh, uh yeah. The Adventures of Tintin. And, uh... I had to get this version, because at the time I was collecting 3D movies, not anymore, 
And so I had to get the UK version because they had the 3D. And it's all region. So, yeah, I mean, it's um, Columbia. Wait, did Columbia put this out? Paramount. It's a Paramount and Columbia collaboration uh, along with, like, two or three other film companies, like a Blame and other things. And it just is it's a really good animated movie. You got the, uh, what was it, the Blu-ray disc, the 3D, and the DVD, which, uh, no, the DVD is not all region. So, yeah, the Blu-rays are all region, but the DVD is not. And, uh, oh, it's also from <laughs> Nickelodeon. So, yeah, um, I have to watch this again. It's been a long time, but check it out. Yeah. I wanted to get the US one, but I couldn't find it. Had a nice lenticular. This one I only seen a little bit of, and it is from, I don't know, because Touchstone started distributing their stuff, and even, even if it wasn't a Touchstone movie, and it was a DreamWorks movie, they decided to uh, not put the dates on things, which is stupid, all right? Absolutely stupid. This is a DreamWorks and um, film, so it has nothing to do with Disney. They were just distributing, let's see, it says Touchstone on it. So Touchstone was distributing DreamWorks at the time, and they distributed some few ones. Um, I think it came out in 2011, I want to say. Um, the actual release came out in 2012. It's um, War Horse. I have only seen bits and pieces of it. And um, how long is this movie? If I even said it. Um, how long is this movie? Ah. 146 minutes so it's rather long and uh, yeah um, the people that play in this movie you got Emma Watson you got uh, David Thiruth Thiruth Peter Mullen don't know Jeremy Irons so yeah I gotta I gotta get to watching this one If I could get it back in the slip. There you go. War Horse. War Horse. I actually found this brand new factory sealed for like a dirt cheap price at Second and Charles because they had a crap load of copies of it. Um, yeah. Next, one of my favorite movies that uh, he did, and this was also distributed by Touchstone, but it was a DreamWorks movie. Lincoln, that's right. It's um, kind of a long movie. Where is the time? A hundred and fifty minutes. But um, uh, it's got a great cast on here. First time I seen it, it it kind of just held my interest all the way through. Heavy dialogue though. So you got uh, Stevens, uh, <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis as Lincoln, Sally Field. David uh, Stron, David, uh, I'm not going to massacre that name, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, James Spader, Hal Holbrook, Tommy Lee Jones is in this, um, yeah, and this is, uh, I doesn't say because of the fact that it's touched on and they didn't feel like putting a thing on there, but, uh, Oh, 2012. Yeah. Winner, two winners, two, winner of two, I will get it right, winner of two Academy Awards, including Best Actor, Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, doesn't say what the other one was. So, whatever. 
But uh, yeah, Daniel Day Lewis won for this, and I'm glad he did because he embodied Lincoln in this movie. If you've seen him on the street, you'd be like, oh my god, that's Lincoln's ghost. That's how good he is in this damn movie. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Lincoln. If it turns you off because it's so long, watch it in, watch it in sections. Like, watch an hour of it, then go back to it and stuff. Another movie that I wish I had a slip cover to, but I don't. Um... This was also distributed by Touchstone. First time I seen it, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. It's heavy dialogue, yes. But in the heavy dialogue, there is a lot of interesting points being made. And this is from um, DreamWorks Pictures and Fox 2000 Pictures. Which is kind of, it's kind of coincidence, but, you know, like, Disney owns... Uh, Fox now, so they own Fox 2000 Pictures. Uh, yeah. Um, Tom Hanks, of course. Um, Amy Ryan, if you know Amy Ryan from The Office, played Holly. Uh, Alan Alda, great actor. Um, that's all I recognize. Um, the guy who is actually in trouble... I don't know his name. It's in here somewhere. But the guy who actually they're trying to help um, prove that he's innocent and stuff like that. Very good role from him. He, I think, did a better job than any of the people in the movie besides Tom Hanks. Um, he... Da, 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 written by... Uh, Matt Chairman? Charmin and Ethan Cohen and Joe Cohen. So, yeah. It's all region. This movie, I don't think, is as long. It's one hour and 41 minutes, but it goes by really fast. And Tom Hanks is just absolutely fantastic in this movie. And, uh, yeah. Next movie I have not seen yet. I'm kind of hesitant to see this because of the reviews. Uh... I actually got it from Disney um, Movie Club because it was Disney. Here it's Disney, and in other country, in other countries it was not owned by Disney. And it's the BFG, and uh, good cast though. You got um, oh people I don't recognize. You have uh, Rebecca Hall. Uh, I recognize her name. Bill Hader. Is in this. Um, mm, the rest of the people I don't really recognize, but um, I want to visit this soon. It's only two hour movie. It was made by Disney and a Blaine Entertainment. And um, yeah, so the only Disney one he directed so far. But it didn't do that well. If anybody has a positive review or a positive opinion about this movie, leave it below. And, uh, yeah. There was a 3D version at one point, I think, here in the States, but I'm not sure. The boring blue and white discs. Uh, I know in, uh, I think, UK and stuff, Germany, they have a 3D version. Another movie I have not checked out yet. I got this. I don't even remember where I got this. I think I got it on eBay. Yeah, I did. I got this one on eBay for a damn good price. And, um, yeah, of course it was Steven Spielberg. I had to have it. Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, The Post. It's basically... Um, I don't know. It's a remake of a movie... Um, all the President's Men, I think. Something like that. And uh, the rest of the cast. This is heavily dialogued, too, I, I heard. Um, Sarah 
Paulson, Bob Odenkirk, Tracy Letts, uh, some other people I don't really recognize. Um, music by John Williams. Uh, this one really didn't do that well either. Academy Award nominee for Best Picture. Untold True Story, Go Behind the Scenes of the Cast and Crew. Um, special feature. But uh, eventually I want to watch this. Uh, just this, I don't know. It doesn't intrigue me as much as, say, like Bridges Spies and stuff like that. But Tom Hanks, I'm sold if Tom Hanks is in it. Yeah. Finally, the last, last one, and then I got a special thing to look at. Right there. Um, is the, this is the only 4K I own. No, took that back. It was Jurassic Park's so I own one 4K. Um, this is, uh, Another 4K I own. It is Ready Player One. First time I seen this movie, it blew me away. How many Easter eggs are in this movie? What the story is about? It's confusing in some points, and then it works itself into it, and it explains it. Uh, this movie was 140 minutes. Just perfect time to explain everything. Um, the cast... Let me see something here. Yeah, it's got the... It's got really different discs. It's that green and brown. So. Uh, I think I got this one off of... Yeah, I got this off of eBay. It was a dirt cheap price. Um, who's in this movie? Uh, no one really famous, famous. T.J. Miller is in it as a voice, though. Um, Simon Pegg. Not really much in it. And the rest of the people are really not that famous. But, I mean, this movie is just Steven Spielberg's masterpiece right here. Uh, yeah. The Iron Giant right there makes a special little appearance. And, uh, well, what else? I mean, I, I know there's a lot of cameos in this movie. A lot of like video game cameos and um, yeah you can you have to watch it multi times to understand it to under go the Easter eggs and stuff like that and, and, and stuff but basically good movie um, yeah I, I loved it I actually want to watch it again so this last one here is the worst in the series of Indiana Jones movies, but I happen to have it. Um, I actually have all the movies on DVD still. I never got rid of them when I replaced them with the Blu ray. But this movie, this packaging was awesome. This was on Blu ray at one point. It's really hard to find. It's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And this was like, I want to say, Target exclusive. I want to say it was. Um, doesn't say it on here. But I think it was a Target exclusive. And um, I had to have it. I had a gift card for it. I'm opening it the wrong way. I had a gift card for it. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to use this gift card and get this movie. And um, I didn't like the movie in general. I seen it at the theater. But this special edition, I had a complete... The Indiana Jones series. Now they're making another one, but it is beautiful. And this is how the Blu-ray one were uh, looked as well. But the Blu-ray one was more expensive at the time. This Digibook is beautiful. The way they put time and effort into this more than they did the movie. Uh, it's just photographs, and um, I think there's a stuff that Steven Spielberg wrote in here as well. I'll just give you a quick look at this book. The chapter and the contents. Uh, it has got Shia LaBeouf in there. Mistake. Uh, you know, you got Steven Spielberg behind the scenes photos. Some more behind the scenes photos. 
and stuff that uh, Steven Spielberg actually wrote. Yeah, got old Indiana Jones there, but Harrison Ford still kicks ass, you know. Um, so behind the scenes, well, not behind the scenes, but you know, stills. Got the camp. Uh, behind the scenes of the refrigerator. That was the best part of the movie, I think. That and the graveyard scene. Um, best scenes of the movie. The jungle scene was just way too much CG. It's another great picture of Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford. Skip these pages. You know, Harrison Ford and Shia LaBeouf. And uh, some more, some more uh, promotional pictures right there. And um, yeah, back. And uh, they just this book is just huge. This digi book. You'll probably see it again in my digi book collection, even though it's a DVD. And then they got married at the end, and bam. This is even though I hate the movie. This is one of my prized possessions because you really can't find this that easy i mean i did find it on um ebay and um amazon but they're going for high prices i wanted to replace it with the blu-ray copy um just to have but uh i mean if i'm not going to watch the movie then it really doesn't matter i already have it on uh on blu-ray so just the book alone is just what I want. And the slip. The slip is just, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And the book itself, beautiful. And, um, yeah. Don't think this is ever released anywhere else but Target. And, uh, there is a, the, the discs itself, um, you got the movie. And you get the special features here, which I don't have in the other set. So that's another reason why to keep it. So, yeah. Yeah. Great digi book. I love the thing. Hate the movie. Well, I can't say hate the movie because the movie was decent until the end with the aliens and kind of messed things up. The jungle scene was too digital. Hour and two minutes, going to hour and three minutes, but uh, you know what? Going through these movies just—it's just awesome because it makes me—it makes me, me want to go through this um, Steven Spielberg collection and watch them all again, um, and watch the ones I haven't watched yet. Steven Spielberg is working on a lot of stuff, and um, hopefully, a new movie comes out. Next year, maybe, from him? Who knows? Um, can't wait to see the new Indiana Jones. Hopefully it's in production. But, um, who knows? This is Movie Edge. And join me next time for um, another in this series of Blu-ray DVD collections. And uh, next time, I don't know what I'm going to have. These videos are basically spontaneous yes I record them in advance but I don't know what I'm gonna record I look at sets that I have that maybe I didn't show and stuff that maybe I did show but I didn't show it with something else so yeah it could be a blu-ray collection it could be a DVD collection or it could be combined so uh, yeah join me every Saturday and Sunday for more collection videos I thank you guys for watching and uh, take care. Movie Edge signing off.